Hello everyone and welcome to Prophecy Files Briefing. We're glad that you've joined us today and I hope that you will share this out on your social media, help others to be informed about the next great event on the calendar of God, the rapture of the church. Today, I'm very glad to be able to have my very special friend, evangelist Jason Stidham, who is with me in recent days. He's been preaching concerning some Bible prophecy events and things that are taking place. And so just uh, picking up on some articles this morning, uh, President Biden is going to be speaking at the UN, and behind him will come the leader of Iran. Wow. The actual, uh, as they've been saying, the head of the snake in, in terrorism. So you got that going on. You've got the United States that are sending uh, troops now to the Middle East that's inflamed. And you've got uh, uh, 1,600, I think it was on the article, uh, that is letting us know there was over 1,600 uh, missions from the IDF into Lebanon, and we are awaiting uh, entry from the IDF into Lebanon to clear out the Hezbollah terrorists. So with all that being said, we're just gonna take a moment, I'm just gonna pitch it over here because what you've said in recent days is right in line with what's happening uh, in our world, and it's biblical, it's, it's prophetic. Right, well, we're coming to you today from Baton Rouge, Louisiana. We're right here in the lobby of Sun Life Broadcasting Network and getting ready to go on air live in the next uh, 20 or 25 minutes. But as Pastor said, we've been addressing some of the subject matter here, and the reality is we are living in unprecedented times and yeah. moments. And I know that you've shared that uh, time and again on Prophecy Files. And while we do not know what tomorrow holds, we are certainly aware that the Lord is fully cognizant of every one of these events, every one of these players, and has already charted the course that the world is going to take. So while it looks like chaos to us in all reality, Every part of this is following the script, the divine script that was determined from the beginning. I think it's amazing that we're sitting here talking about uh, Iran and in the Bible, in the book of Ezekiel 38, 39, it's identified as Persia. Right. And it is now, uh, even at that forefront in coalition with Russia that they've had now, uh, that bond that they've been making even stronger in recent years. Uh, we're looking at the Bible in Ezekiel 38, 39, and we're watching this manifest uh, into what is the war of Gog and Magog. Whether this is it, I, I don't believe that this is it, but certainly um, it's a precursor to those right. things, wouldn't you say? Oh, absolutely. And all the uh, pieces and the players are beginning to align themselves, and even the United States of America, as you referenced just a moment ago, uh, the president, the policies of this current administration, there's a chain reaction, it's a domino effect, and it causes Iran and Russia and China and others to align themselves together. So all of these intricate pieces uh, are, are the links of the chain are now becoming more and more visible to us in the natural sense. And what you just said, I think is so valuable and so important that the United States weakness has created this chain reaction of them coming together. Absolutely. So we can see how vital that the United States uh, in foreign policy and in the importance of stability around the globe uh, very much is. Uh, I'm going to ask my producer in just a moment to put up this picture from 2019 when I went to Israel, standing in uh, a overlooking from a kibbutz overlooking Lebanon and there were no windows in any of the houses that were over there mm -hmm. that I could see. And our guide pointed out the fact that every one of these windowless houses, there's 150 Katusha rockets that were pointed directly at that kibbutz and Northern Israel. Those things have already been launched. You've seen the attacks in recent days. I really believe uh, beyond the shadow of any doubt that we are at a real inflection point. We're at a, a real uh, place of tension, of course, in the Middle East. And what you've shared in recent days in Bible prophecy has uh, uh, has been enlightening. And I think that Iran, of course, is gonna play a major part. Do you think they're gonna survive this? What do you think? I uh, I don't know that Iran will survive. I, I There could be, of course, some type of ceasefire negotiated. It depends on, uh, you know, to what 
degree the escalation takes place, but I mean, we have seen in recent days that Israel means business. And there's a major escalation that's taking place. Um, to be honest with you, Pastor, I think a lot of it is going to depend on the results of the election. Yeah. Uh, in what, 45 days approximately? Right. Depends on what the new administration is going to be and, and what kind of uh, either pressure will be applied to Israel uh, for a ceasefire or maybe what kind of latitude would be given to them. And, and if the right person is elected, the pressure could be reversed and taken off of Israel and placed onto Iran and right. maybe calling on them to back off and have a ceasefire. That's right. Well, you, just this little bit of information, I hope, will cause you to stir uh, yourself uh, to search uh, the scripture to find out what God is doing in these last days. Yes. And uh, we're having they're having their con their convergence in uh, New York with the U.N. right now. Just last week, they made a major vote against Israel. In fact, uh, to remove all the Jews out of the old city of Jerusalem. Can you imagine? And now uh, there's a convergence of nations there to try to talk about Israel. Some have said that in, in this action, they may be bringing out some kind of resolution uh, that will be the ultimatum for the nation of Israel. So I just want you to just keep searching the word of God, keep your faith in Jesus Christ yes. and, and uh, realizing that at any moment, that great event that is a signless event, the rapture of the church will occur. Thank you, Evangelist Jason Stidham, for being with me today. And I hope that you'll remember that Jesus Christ is coming soon.